G'day everybody, uh, Mark here again. Uh, Sunday afternoon here in uh, beautiful Queensland, my part of the world, and we're working on the rotary table. It's been in storage for a while, so it's copped a bit of rust. Uh, also, over the period of time, uh, with coolant getting on it and so on, it's uh, got a bit gungy, so I got it out to, we need it to do a job, and that job is We'll just go for a bit of a wander down here. The winding forward drum, or the winch drum. And these two holes here are inch and three eight, or they're supposed to be inch and three eight. Um, however, they're way oversized. And uh, they're quite, I've had to make these uh, to suit, or best spoke. Uh, and now I've got to put a hex on this one. So these two holes here, I'll just show you quickly. You can see as we wind out, it gets really, really loose. Now, I've talked about this before. Uh, you can see parts of the casting is broken. And down here, uh, we can see a bit of a shoulder. I'll just zoom in there. I know it's a bit rickety. No, I was. Let's zoom in there. Haven't got to get the right light. You can just see a shoulder in there. So we've got to put a hex on the end of that so I can uh, put a socket on it so we can put a bit of pressure on it to separate the two pieces. This is in two pieces. Uh, it's not one piece or anything like that. It's definitely two pieces. So it's going to take a bit of work uh, to get it out. Sorry about the shaking. But um, I'll just put this back up there on the milling table and I'll get some, uh, I'm going to take this plate off because I think there's a bit of crap underneath here, uh, won't take long anyway just to do that. Everything's coming out nicely so that's good. So weather-wise, we've had a great weekend here in my part of the world. It's been fantastic. The weather's warm, of course. We're in spring where things are warming up for us. And um, we'll just get a soft hammer and give that a little tap. And of course, when you want one, you can't find one, but I found one that's close by. And we'll use our cap screws. As there is uh, some jacking screws there. Hopefully they're going to be long enough. Not quite. Right, so I'll just pause the video and I'll go find some jacking bolts to get this thing off. Righto, with the magic uh, of uh, time passing, there we go, how easy was that? Uh, we'll give everything, it's nice and it's pretty clean under there, I'll just get a rag, I'll wipe it all off. Didn't really need those jacking bolts at all, but anyway, I'll just give that a clean up. As you can see, it's nice and clean. It's pretty, probably won't need to buff anything. I'll just put a bit of oil back on there before it goes back in. There's a bit of old grease or something there. We'll get that out and we'll put it back together. Now, that plate I took off the top, this one here, this is where the uh, chuck mounts onto. It's a little, uh, little chuck here, five inch chuck. 
uh, bolts on. And uh, if whatever I've got doesn't happen to um, fit in the chuck, I can always take this off and mount it on here because we've got uh, some T-bolts. Is that showing up there? No. We've got uh, some T-bolts here. Oh, there we go. Uh, and you can, um, you can put whatever you want in them to bolt it down to hold it in place. Of course, you'll have to make sure it's uh, concentric to whatever you're doing unless you're making a uh, non-concentric part. Oh, there we go, we just dropped it. And now I've got to find it. Oh, there it is. Right, so I'll just, with the magic, once again with the magic, uh, we'll pause and we'll come back. And we're back. So I'll just give this a little bit of a polish. I'll just use a wire brush on the drill. So this rotary table comes with uh, a number of attachments. Uh, it comes with some dividing plates so that uh, those of you who are not familiar, uh, you can, there's a, a dial on here which you can rotate around or corresponds and you can um, divide things in degrees, minutes and seconds to get, uh, to make gears um, or uh, put a hex on a bar uh, so you can put a spanner on it or a square or whatever you're doing. Uh, these are a great tool for a workshop, especially like this. Um, it just makes life a lot easier. They come in all shapes and sizes. This is probably one of the smaller ones. You can get uh, larger ones, take larger diameters, all that sort of stuff depending on what you're doing. Spin that around. Give that a bit more of a clean up in there. It's come up really nice. I'll get the oil can and throw some oil on there while I'm going. Get that crud out of there. These have uh, cleaned up nicely. And I'll squirt a bit of oil down there. in this one as well. Oh, put a bit of oil, rub that around. Now this is Probably not the best viewing angle, but gives you a good idea of what's what we're doing. Put some oil on this face here. So this can sit down like it is now, or I can stand it up, it, depending on uh, the orientation uh, is whatever you desire, or whatever suits the job, I suppose. Oh, we don't need those anymore. Take them out. In fact, I might just go give this a linish. Now, fair warning, it will get a little bit loud. I'll reposition that uh, camera so you can sort of all see what I'm doing.
So I've just done that on the wire buff just to get a bit of excess stuff off. I'll give that um, give this a bit more of a clean out of the holes before I put it back on. Probably hear the birds out there. It's starting to get a little bit uh, overcast, but it's, as I said before, it's been an absolutely tremendous day. Unfortunately, didn't get out today, but got to do stuff around home. So, righto. So we've got uh, plenty of oil. Good coating of oil. We'll put some on the back here, on the back side. And before we do that, we'll pop those back into place. Do it out here where it's easier. Now I could have put these in after I put this plate on, it wouldn't have mattered. And I'll just turn that around until they all line up. And then put these screws back in. In fact, I'll give them a run on the wire brush to get any crud off them. Pop them back in there. Mm. We'll just snug those down. And then we'll just, uh, just double check that they're nice and firm. They don't have to be overly tight. Righto, so now we'll bring the uh, chuck over. And we might... Right. And I'll give the chuck, so this is... Uh, Here's the chuck. I might just give that a bit of a clean on the on the wire buff. Oh yeah, especially underneath here. Hopefully you can see that okay. I'll just move that there and just have a look at the screen. Yeah, that's pretty damn dirty. There we go. Get a different angle there. <coughs> here we go again.
That's looking a whole lot better. But I'll get the um, get the drill and get around the edge here. So the, the back here will is recessed slightly and that matches up here with our bit of plate with this step here. Now the reason why at times you hear so many sirens is because I live near a hospital that's just around the corner, it's just over the back actually. And um, there's always something going on here with uh, various emergency services going by, accidents happening, people going crazy, all the rest of it. Right. Uh, and right, we'll just stop there and I'll come back. And we're back. So I gave the face of the uh, chuck clean up. We've got a little oil hole on top here, so we'll give that uh, an oil and that'll put uh, oil into the chuck. There's no need to uh, pull this one apart as it's moving freely. There's no adverse, it's not stuck. It's running nice and free, so I'll just pump some oil in. Okay. Well, we've got everything moving around. It on the slides. Every little bit helps, that's for sure. And when I stop dropping things on the ground, um, hang, right, I'll give these back on the uh, Linear Show again. So there was just a bit of dirt and debris on the threads, so we just gave them a clean up. We'll put some oil on there, so when they go in there, nicely uh, coated with a bit of oil. Always helps on the threads where possible to put a bit of oil on. Once again, we'll just screw these down into place with our T-bar Allen key or Allen wrench, depending on where you come from, where you learnt your engineering skills, what people told you it was, all that sort of thing. All does the same job. Right. Right, that's back there. That was a bit of a loud noise. Now we're going to line up the... Um, these are not numbered in any way. So they're not numbered there, but they're numbered on the jaws here. So that's number one. If you get these out of sequence, they won't uh, tighten up to the particular part that you're clamping onto. Just and can we see that? Let's see if we can 
I tell you what, I'll zoom in there. There we go. And you might just see, you can see the scroll there, and you can just see the start of it, just. So I'll get the next jaw, number two. Put, slide him into there, which he doesn't want to slide into. What's going on here? Nice and clean. It's a bit tight, actually. I'll just quickly run a file over that. Might just be a little burr on there. And we'll give him a once on the buff. And we'll put the last jaw in and uh, we'll be in business. There we go. Great. So, what we're going to do, let's, well, that was probably all a bit close. That's going to sit in there like so. And I'm going to have to put a bit of packing around that to not damage the thread. And then I'm going to mill a hex on there. So I'll either do it like this standing up or I'll turn it over. Anyway, that's probably for another video, I think. We've done enough. You've seen what, uh, what we get up to here. This is all part of the restoration of the steamroller that we're working on. Don't forget we do a live stream on a Tuesday night from 7.45 p.m. Australian Eastern Daylight Time. So if you'd like to join us and catch up and see what's happening and talk about different topics on there, plus other random uploads to the channel. Thank you very much. Have a good weekend. Enjoy your week. Talk to you later. Bye for now.